thanks for joining me. I'm Scott and today I'm gonna describe to you and show you a quick and easy method for plugging bridge pin holes on guitars. And this uh, guitar is an old harmony where the bridge was located in the wrong place. Okay, the, uh, the third string pinhole is directly across the center seam. Usually the center seam goes in between the third and fourth strings. And that happens to be the case on this one too because before I took the bridge off the strings were way hanging off the base side on the fretboard and uh, well within the inside of the fretboard on the treble side. In this case it's going to get moved uh, five millimeters <laughs> and you can see that someone at the factory maybe had it messed up and had to locate it twice before they decided where they're going to go but it's also going to get moved back on the base side about one millimeter and um, this method was uh, shared with us by TJ Thompson on his Facebook and Instagram and he described it quite well but he never actually uh, did a video so Hopefully this video helps some of you guys um, with his method of filling bridge pin holes. And his method basically is intended to fix the bottom side of the bridge plate on guitars that have the ball ends of the strings have worn the inside of the guitar into shredded it, basically. And he uses this method all the time on uh, vintage Martins that are worth, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. And he's, you know, it's it's just the best way. I've done this before to completely fill the holes on a other guitar, and it worked great for me. It was quick and easy. So let's get started with the jack. First thing you want to do is find a jack that you can fit inside the sound hole. I bought this one on eBay. I guess it's about three by three. Three and a half by three and a half. If you get anything bigger, it might not fit in the sound hole. Um, in my case, there is a brace that falls just in front of where this bridge is, and there's not a brace back here, so the jack would be sitting kind of crooked if I didn't shore up the uh, in between the two braces. So I've got a piece of half inch plywood. It's scant, it's not a full half inch, it's about 31 64ths, I guess, or 15 30 seconds. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to take my jack. And the jack has uh, some rigid foam with some wax paper and actually a piece, piece of saran wrap. And I'm going to put an additional layer of wax on here real quick. So I'm going to wax this up. A little paste wax. Keeps uh, the glue from sticking. And by the way, I'm gonna fill the holes with maple fibers and thin super glue. This is the Stumac number 10 thin super glue. It's water thin. And we'll get this in the guitar and then we'll make some maple fibers. Okay, as I get within the last couple turns of the screw, that opens the jack you can see that it's through the pinholes you can see that I've got it right where it needs to be and it's firmly pressing up against the bottom side on the bridge plate now we can start to fill the holes but first we have to make some more maple fibers and the key to this is that these are not maple this is not maple sawdust this is maple fibers I've got the fine rasp and um, I'm going to take the edge of a maple board and I'm going to run it down the edge. And the reason this is different than maple sawdust, like if you were doing some real fine grain filling, like you're filling pores and something, you'd probably want to belt sand the ed end grain of some maple and get some really um, granular shaped, pebble shaped, round disc shaped, or spherical shaped dust. 
these don't have that shape. These are more like jelly bean shape. I'll zoom okay. in. Okay, see here? I'll tap the paper so they move around a little bit. But these are the shaped fibers you want. They're elongated, like grains of rice. Okay. You want to collect these and transfer them into a container. I have an old spice container. I just take the paper, fold it, and transfer it down in there. All right, so we got, we got some maple fibers. Now, I'm gonna reach in here, and grab a little spoon, something like this might be too big. How about this one? We use this one. We got the thin super glue, and then we'll need something to pack it down into the holes. So, here's a look at the jack inside the sound hole. It's in position directly under the bridge pin holes. Okay, and now we begin. I thought it'd be a good idea to put a little protective layer here. I'm, I've got accelerator also. Super glue accelerator, CA glue accelerator. Get it down on that. I again, I wrapped the the foam with a cling wrap. <clears throat> it's just kitchen quality stuff. Okay, we do, we'll do it in layers. And start with these first two. I found this tool that's good for packing it down. And then we'll add one drop. And we'll add a little accelerator. And I'm gonna Keep doing this for a little while. Probably be good to have a well ventilated space to do this in. I don't know the harms of CA glue. I don't know if there's been any studies done whether it's. I imagine it's harmful. It probably. If I read the label, it'd probably say that right on there, wouldn't it? Do not swallow. I knew someone that I worked with in California who accidentally got super glued their eyes shut. <clears throat> they were squeezing the old bottle. Remember that crazy glue that came in like a toothpaste bottle? They had to kind of roll the end to get it to come out. And it, uh, it blew up and it squirted right in their eye. They had to go to the emergency room. And I think they got everything all ironed out in the emergency room. Man, that must have been scary. Super glue in your eyes. See, I, I, I got the super glue on there. I dripped it on the cow. Holy cow. All right, enough of the bad cow jokes. There's another video showing some other repairs being done to this guitar. It's getting a neck reset. Of course, the bridge is being relocated. And the peg head is missing the black. So I'm going to be putting a veneer over the existing peg head and painting it black. In there. All right. It fills up pretty quickly. So I'm going to continue with this for a little bit. I'll check back in a minute. Okay, I've been doing this for a few minutes. I'm just about done.
that whitey, that cloud, cloudy kind of thing is because uh, the Stumac accelerator will cloud up the super glue. The glue boost accelerator does not. But I'm running kind of low on that. I'm going to save that for finish repairs. You can see it's smoking a little bit. That's the accelerator turning the stuff white. So, all right, almost done. When I pulled, I just pulled the jack out of the sound hole, and there was uh, the the cling wrap was kind of torn up. So I think some of it stuck to the bottom side of the bridge plate. So we're gonna probably reach in there and do a little sanding with a little sanding block to get that mess out of there. And of course I'm gonna lightly sand this. Then I'll be able to re-drill re the pinholes and we'll be, be able to play this guitar without the strings falling off the bass side. And we're gonna move it back again, gonna intonate it a little better. Probably gonna cut the recut the saddle slot also and uh, put a little wider uh, saddle in the bridge because the bridge is Brazilian rosewood and you can't get these anymore. Oh man, we're gonna have to do a little sanding there. But um, yeah, the thin saddle that was in it was a plastic. So, and it's very thin. So I think we'll widen that up a little bit and put in a bone saddle. Yes, indeed. Some of the cling wrap and wax paper stuck. So I can probably clean that out. Let me get some sandpaper in there. I'll take a look in a minute. All right. So that's good enough. I reached in there. It feels smooth. I just took a a little piece of plywood with some 80 grit sandpaper wrapped around it. And that did the purpose for this. Anyways, now it's ready to re-drill or do whatever I need to do. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. <laughs>